All right, I'm gonna take you through a lower body workout. First, we're gonna start off with my client hitting a huge 275 pound bench PR. It doesn't compete in powerlifting, so I do not care if his butt rises a little bit or he does a touch and go bench. Progress is what matters, whether it be on your bench press, an extra rep on your bicep curl, um, a longer eccentric on your, uh, I don't know, leg curl. It doesn't matter. Progress is what we're going for and progress should be celebrated. When you get an extra rep or you do a little bit more, that means that the work you're putting on in means something. That is by far the most important thing about lifting weights is, am I making a little bit of progress? You know, there's always going to be times in your life where it might not be as simple as throwing an extra five to 10 pounds on your squat max, but it could be other things. It's like, did I hit this at a lighter body weight? Did I hit this, um, you know, if you're an older gentleman uh, or woman, if you hit it at an older age, if you hit 225 pound bench when you were in, in high school and then you hit it again when you're 60, that's huge. That is huge. So it's just things like that. You have to find the wins. You gotta be winning most of the time, so you just gotta find those wins, uh, because I think you know it's probably best for your psychology, and you know that what you're doing is working. Here's a 540 warm up for my top set of squats. Could get a little deeper than that, but uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with you know kind of how it moves. I do know I'm still warming up, so the depth was not gonna be there as much as it will be when I get a little bit heavier. Going into this. Next, this is a two, um, 722 for two attempt here. Got it for one, sorry to ruin the surprise for you. Um, if anyone got questions on what I'm doing right now, is I'm, I'm sniffing this smelling salt. Kind of clears me up, gets me fired, ready to go. I do not like it if people hit me prior to my lifting. My focus is only on the bar, focus is only on what I'm doing. Now the first rep moves perfectly. And First rep moves perfectly. The second rep here, I think I lost a little bit of tightness. I should have taken a little bit more time between my first and second rep to refocus, regroup, and power through. But I have it there. Um, there's no point in getting emotional or upset. You just know that you, when you hit a, when you miss a lift, do not get emotional. Do not get down on yourself. It is only taking away from what you're doing. Right? If I were to, um, if I were to put someone in a fight or if I would put someone in any kind of competitive event, the last thing I want them to do is to get down on themselves. So that is, it's very important that if you miss something or if you experience um, a rare loss that you do not get down on yourself because you have to be confident in what you're doing. You have to be confident that you're better than the, um, you know, the circumstances that you know, happened, right? And, and most importantly, get confident that you're getting better. That's what's key. That is what is key. Finishing up the, the leg work here with some leg press. Well, first I had some back down sets at 495. Then I have some leg press here, three sets of 12. And then later I have some leg extensions, uh, three sets of 13. A lot of power lifters do not like to have uh, bodybuilding work clo uh, getting close to prep, or sorry, close to a meet. I'm, at the time of this video, I believe I'm about uh, six weeks out, still very important to keep those accessory quote unquote works or your bodybuilding working, right? The last thing you want to do is lose the preparedness of those high reps that the high reps and hypertrophy work gives you. You know, I don't, I don't want to be reducing muscle mass as I go into a meet. So why not do an exercise um, that does not fatigue you like a heavy squat does? Um, just as something as simple as leg press and leg extensions. I'm still training the similar movements that I do in a squat, still gaining size and hypertrophy in these movements and in these muscles, I mean, um, without the added stress and fatigue that you know something like a heavy squat does give you. Now, that doesn't mean that those aren't important to put in your program, but uh, it just means that, sorry, it doesn't mean that your heavy squats aren't important to put in your program if you're not competing. But, you know, it's just something to consider. And that's why, you know, working with a coach um, is important so you can make sure you get those considerations taken care of.